everybody. Happy Tuesday. We're going to be doing some more number work today and today we're going to do some number stories. Um, so I have made a little book. I've just got some paper and I've stapled it together because we're going to be doing lots of different stories all this week. So I'm going to start with a clothes hanger and I'm going to use some clothes pegs. So we're going to use these to make our, our number stories. I'm going to start with one. So I have one peg and my hanger. And as you can see, I put a little add sign, a plus sign on the bottom of it, because we're going to see two numbers that make our total. So as I said, we're starting with one. I'm going to see what adds up to make one. So I'll put my peg on. I've got one peg. So I've got one on this side and none, zero on this side. So we're going to say one and zero is one. I'm going to write my image. There we go. So I've got my first page of my book. I'm going to start with the story of one. I'll put a big circle at the top. One. So we can check it out. Zero. And one is one. Let's write that down. Zero and one is one. And we can turn it round the other way. Zero and one is one. One and zero is also one. we have. It's a very easy story to start with. So let's do another one. Let's do two. So I'm going to turn over and I'm going to start another page. So I'm going to write my story of two this time. So I'm going to need two clothes pegs. So we're going to start first of all with zero. So zero and one, two, zero and two is two. Again, I'm going to write it in my book. Zero and two is two. This time I'm going to move one across. Move this over to one side. So this time one and one is two. I'm going to write it in one and one. Next two. And for the last one, I'm going to move it across. Two and zero is two. So it's the same as the first bit of our story. Two, whoops, no, the ad's moved. Two and zero is two. Zero and two is two. It's the same. It's the same no matter which way round it goes. So we've done one, we've done two, now we're going to do three. So I'm going to need another peg. So it's the same idea as before. I'm going to start with zero. So zero and one, two, three makes one, two, three. Zero and three is three. And just like with the last time, we're going to move a peg across. So this time, one and one, two. So one and two is three. To move it over again. Two and one is three. And the last one, three, one, two, three, and zero is three. So there we go. 
you can see as the numbers get bigger we get more stories we get more sums for each number but it's the same pattern every time let's see if we can do another one i'm going to do four oh, we'll start this again and remember we can always turn it round so then three three and zero is three zero and three is three and the other way around as well one and two two and one it's still the same so here's four One, two, three, four. So let's check. Zero and four is four. I'm going to turn over onto my next page. Because by the end of the week, I think I'm hoping to have one all the way up to ten in my book. I'm going to have all of our number stories. So here we go. Story of four. So the first one was zero and four. So I think we can figure out what's going to be next. Move one across. One and one, two, three makes four. One and three. Again, move it across. One, two, one, two. Two and two makes four. Move it across again. One, two, three, and one. Three add one is four. And last one. Four and zero is four. So here we go again. We've got all of our four stories. All of our four stories. And our last one for today, we're going to do five. <clears throat> and what's the same as before? Zero and five. Move the next one across. One and four. Two and three. Oh, let's just turn it around this time. Three and two. Four and one and five and zero. They all make five. So that is our stories of five. So if I very quickly write this on zero and five, one and four, two and three, three and two, four and one and five. And zero, they all make five. Oh, I haven't got the answers in. So that is the start of our number story book, and we're going to add to that for the rest of the week. So that by, as I said, when we get to Friday, we should have all of the numbers right the way up to ten. Um, but you'll also see I've got actually I've also got the number line today that we made yesterday. We can use this to help make sure we've got our numbers right. So I've got little. Uh, magnet here so if I were practicing for example the five if I wanted to check is two and three really five let's see let's put it on two to start with and we're going to jump on two add on three so it's going to do three jumps one two three and it's finished up at five so two and three is five try another one four so four and one is five let's check Four, one jump, one is five. So we can check if we've got our numbers with our number line as well. There's lots of different ways of doing it, but they all come to the same thing. So have a go. I would love to see your number story books. So you can do it one to five today and we'll do some more tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Good luck.